Hi guys, I have this magic square problem. Today my dad will help me solve it. But before we get started, please like, subscribe and share. So let's get started. Okay, can you please solve this magic square of 18? Oh yeah, sure. I will help you solve this uh, magic square. I'm not a mathematician, but I will just uh, uh, help you solve this uh, square. Okay, so this is a square, you see? Yes. And uh, there are different parts of the square. This is the center of the square, and we are indicating it uh, by this letter C. Okay? Okay. And uh, these are the corners of the square. Okay? And okay. these are the edges of the square. Yeah. Okay? So that's the distribution of the parts of the square. So uh, you should remember these parts. Okay? Okay. Now, these are the numbers given here 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 10. And it's a magic square of 18. 18. Okay. Okay. Uh, so if you want to solve this, that uh, how to uh, put the numbers in this square in such a way so okay. that mm, uh, all the rows, some of all the rows should be 18. Yeah. Some of all the columns should be 18. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like these should be 18. Yes. Air on, on, on each and every side. Okay? Yeah. And diagonally, if you uh, uh, take these two corners plus center, yeah. this should also be 18. 18. On all sides, it should be 18. This is called a magic square. Okay? Okay. So, uh, in order to solve this uh, magic square, mm -hmm. uh, what you should do first is to determine this thing this is very important yeah that what numbers come important. here in the center yeah okay okay and for that thing uh, you will start uh, from the lowest number okay okay you will make different combinations of uh, yeah. you know additions yeah you will add different numbers pick different numbers from these for instance I divided into three parts two three and four 5, 6, and 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay? Okay. These are three different combinations. So from the first combination, I will just take 2. So, uh, hmm. you know, uh, I have to sum up these numbers in such a way mm -hmm. to get the number 18 because that is, you know, uh, yeah. mm, the maximum number. Yeah. 18. The 18. sum of uh, all these three combinations should be 18. 18. So if I just start with 2 and I uh, plus it with 3, it will be 5. 5. And the maximum number here is 10. 10. So 10 plus 5 would be 15. So that would be wrong. It, it means I cannot start with uh, 2 plus 3. Let's try 2 plus 4. Uh, if I start with 2 plus 4, it will be 6. Mm -hmm. The maximum number here is 10. Yes. So I can plus 10 with that, that will be 16. It yes. means that uh, uh, starting with 2 plus 4 is also not right. Mm -hmm. Similarly, if you start with 2 plus uh, 5, um. again you cannot get the number 18. Yeah. Okay? That's why you can start with 2 plus 6. Okay? 2 plus 6. 2 plus 6 is 8. The maximum number is here 10. 10. Okay? So you can... Uh, uh, take it like this 2 plus 6 plus 10 equals 18. 18. Okay, so okay. that is our starting point. We just started with this uh, digit 2 and the other digit 6, and uh, we plus it with this one with 10. Mm -hmm. We got 18. Okay, 18. Now try a different combination. Uh, you can just plus it with 7, and uh, 7 plus 2 is 9. Yeah. And uh, 9 plus 9 would be 18. 18. So in this way you can try different combinations. Okay. okay. Similarly, uh, uh, then you will start with 3. 3. Okay. And you, different, uh, you make different combinations of 3 uh, yeah. digits to get the number 18. 18. Okay. 
and similarly you try uh, the same the same thing yeah. uh, for the number four okay? okay then you try it for the number five so you do it at least for four digits okay yeah. try different combinations for four digits mm -hmm. and that's important because you have to determine different things yes okay? you have to determine the central Central. Uh, the central number that what number actually is coming here that is the most important thing okay? yeah so the number which should uh, or the digit which should come here mm -hmm. you know at the center mm -hmm. is involved in four different sums okay yes. this digit is involved uh, in this sum mm -hmm. okay it's involved in this sum Okay. Okay. Uh, and and uh, this sum and this sum. Four okay. different sums. Okay? Yes. It it should be summed here to give you the number eighteen. Okay. 18. It uh, uh, you know uh, should be uh, giving you the number eighteen here as well. Yes. Okay. And the number eighteen here as well. Okay. Yeah. The number eighteen here as well. Yeah. So this number should. Uh, uh, you know, uh, it is giving you, it is involved in four different uh, additions, uh, do, four different sums here in the square. Okay, yeah. so you will uh, pick a number which is involved in the sum of these digits, starting with the lowest, which mm -hmm. is which is present here. Okay. You know, yeah. uh, in the sum of the lowest digit, and mm -hmm. then it is involved in four at least four different sums okay uh, you know the combinations it should be there in the combination of two three four and, and five. five at least okay yes. so um, the lowest number you if you see here in the lowest number mm -hmm. we have two uh, uh, digits okay yes one is six and the other is Seven. Seven. Okay. So uh, you can check for both six and seven uh, mm -hmm. whether they are present here in the sum of other uh, um, digits or not. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, six is present here. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the sum of uh, two in this combination. Uh, six is present mm -hmm. here. here. You see. In the sum of uh, this three combinations of mm -hmm. uh, three plus nine plus six is eighteen. Okay, 18. Uh, six is present here in the combination of four. Four plus six plus eight plus equals eighteen. 18. Okay, plus and uh, six is present here in the sum of five as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so most probably six would come in the center because it's involved in four different sums. Yes. Okay, uh, but uh, let's check the seven. If there yeah. is, it, it's the same situation with se seven or not. Okay. So if you take this seven, mm -hmm. uh, seven is present here uh, in the some combination of two. two. It's present here in the combination, combination of, of three, three, but it's not present here mm -hmm. in the combination, combination of, four. of four. Okay, so uh, it would make it easier to uh, to put, uh, you know, to judge that six <coughs> is the central number. number okay so mm -hmm. when six is the central number mm -hmm. okay then you should just uh, take care of the second number which is involved in this thing in the sum of two okay yeah. the lowest number okay mm -hmm. so because now you have to determine which number actually should you put here at the you know uh, center yeah okay uh, at the corner now you have to decide the corner which number is coming in the corner, corner. so uh, six is coming here at the center and now you have to decide about the corner for mm -hmm. the corner you should take this option the second mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, number which is involved in the sum of the lowest uh, number two okay yeah so now, uh, the, this uh, 
number which would come here in the, uh, in the corner would be involved in three different sums Some. okay it would be involved in this sum it would be involved in this sum the column yeah. and diagonal two in three yeah. different sums okay yeah. it means this number should be present at least in three the sum of three different digits, three different digits. you understand yeah okay so uh, seven is present here mm -hmm. uh, seven is present here with three mm -hmm. okay and seven is present here with five. five okay so it means that seven is involved in three different mm -hmm. Uh, sums. sums. That's why it would come at the corner. Yeah. Okay, so tell me uh, whether seven is uh, even or odd. Uh, maybe seven is uh, odd. Yeah, it's odd. Okay, so it means that all the n odd numbers in these would now be placed at the corners. Yes. Because you have seen, you know, that this number is odd, odd, and it is present in three different sums. So mm -hmm. all uh, other odd numbers most probably would also be, uh, you know, at the corners. Yes. Now it should be really easy for you to uh, solve this uh, magic square. Okay. 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 Uh, so uh, you put the odd number seven here. Uh, here is six. Now it's very easy to judge the other numbers. Okay. Yes. Uh, for instance, uh, your goal is to get the number 18 here. Mm -hmm. So 7 plus 6 is 13. 13. So of course the other odd number, uh, which is 5, should come here. Yes. Okay? So that would make 7 plus 6 plus 5, 18. 18. Okay. And you can adjust other numbers quite easily, you know. Yeah. If you don't uh, uh, look at, you know, uh, that how many different combinations of these sums, the numbers are involved, mm -hmm. uh, even then you can do it quite easily. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Because you have to place these uh, uh, odd numbers at the corners mm -hmm. and you have to place even numbers, uh, you know, at the edges. Okay? The edges. So, uh, you just look at it that what are the other odd numbers with us, available with us? We have just used two, two. Uh, five and seven, okay? Seven. So yeah. five and seven, these are gone. We have already yeah. used them. What are others? Others are three mm -hmm. and uh, nine, nine and that's all, okay? Okay. So we have to put uh, two other numbers three and nine at different positions okay yes. so if I just uh, try nine here okay okay so automatically three would come here yeah okay so uh, now uh, it should become quite easy for me to put the uh, uh, even numbers what yeah. are the even numbers the even numbers are two two four Four, uh, six, six uh, and eight, eight and ten. Okay. Ten, yes. Now I have to adjust them. Now uh, seven plus nine is how much? Um, seven plus nine is sixteen. Sixteen. Okay? So I just uh, need two to make it eighteen here. Okay. Yes. So I will put this two number two uh, here at the edge. Okay. Yes. Similarly. Uh, uh, 2 plus 6 is 8, okay? Eight. So, uh, what do I need here to make it 18? I need 10, okay? Yes. So, I would just put 10 here to make it 18, okay? Okay. Now, we have two uh, uh, things uh, left here, two digits, 8 and 4. So, uh, should I put 8 here or here? Of course, I should put, put 8 here, here to yes. make it 18. Yeah. And I will put uh, 4 here to make it 18, okay? okay. So now we have 18, mm -hmm. some on this side, on this side, on this side, all the three columns, yeah. all the three rows, their sum is 18. 
Okay. Uh, and even diagonally, not 7 plus 6 plus 5, 18. Okay? 18, yes. Uh, and 9 plus 6 plus 3 is 18. 18. So that's, uh, you know, your magic square. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, uh, I have done uh, like, you know, to the best of my capability because I'm not a mathematician. I just <laughs> learned it. And. Uh, I'm now teaching you to solve it. So uh, the basic thing is to decide or, you know, to solve this thing. That what co yeah. number actually is coming here at the center. Yeah. Okay. What numbers should come here, uh, you know, at the corners. Yes. And what number are coming here at the edges. So edges are quite yeah. easy uh -huh. Uh -huh. when you decide these two things. Numbers coming in the center, number coming towards the edges yes okay so are you satisfied with my solution yes okay thank you